it's another edition of the best of 2023 and today we've got this players cavity category five iron models we're going to test them we're going to talk about the tech we're going to talk about the performance talk about the sound and the feel and all those good things and then uh, we'll do some testing as well with kevin kevin's going to hit the shots we'll explain everything you need to know about these clubs and this iron category help you make that decision with your new irons this year golfers if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like the video, and then you tell us in the comments which of these iron models is in your bag. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft, master club fitter from our Columbia store today here in Minnetonka at the Tour Van. Uh, the Players Cavity Irons, the best of 2023. So <laughs> we got five models here. Yeah. Um, about this category, Kevin, um, I guess this is probably where you're starting to get into those players that might be lower handicaps yep. or are really trying to go score. And when they get an iron in their hand, they're trying to probably trying to make a birdie a lot of the time. Yeah. Uh, so we're talking about clubs that are designed, starting to be designed more for control than distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when you're talking game improvement category and player distance category, distance is going to be one of those primary components. These we're going to be focusing a little bit more on uh, dispersion and spin and landing angle. Uh, we should see more spin than what we've seen in the previous categories. Mm -hmm. uh, not as much distance, but these are definitely designed more for control. Yep, exactly. And, and we'll also see, yes, that too. Yeah. Uh, we might see more of your draw show up potentially today. I think we'll we might see le a little less of my draw show up because these have less offset in them. That's true. And so, they have more loft. They do have more loft. So, uh, a lot of the loft here is pretty much 32 to 33 degrees. Yep. So it's going to be... And you know, if you've seen the game improvement or players distance videos out are gonna be probably, like you said, fly not as far, yep. probably go maybe a little bit launch a little bit higher. So yep. um, the three, or the, excuse me, the five models we have today, the Ping i230, the Mizuno Pro 223, we've got the TaylorMade P770, we've got the Shrixon ZX7 Mark mm -hmm. II, and we have the Cobra King Tour. Yep. So um, these five kind of fit that category in terms of, they might actually still have a lot of they have some distance in there. Yeah, they're oh yeah, not, absolutely. They're not completely yeah. that forged blade no, type no, performance. Nope. Nope. Um, certainly in the P770, there's gonna be some distance enhancing yeah. technologies in there. Yeah. You've seen a little bit of juice, the Mizuno Pro 223 yeah. so far, uh, while it's been in the bay. So, a lot, of, lot to look forward to here, I think. Yeah, um, uh, we're, down, we're down two brands. We're, yeah. We don't have a Callaway, uh, Apex, new Apex, forthcoming. Uh, same thing with Titleist. Mm -hmm. um, Titleist forthcoming. So yep. uh, stay tuned. There'll be videos for those oh, yeah. as soon as we get our hands on them. Uh, but yeah, so for today's purposes, we're going to focus on these five and, mm -hmm. and see what we get. So as, as we do it, we have you get some shots. Mm -hmm. We talk all about the look, feel, sound, the performance, and then we'll do some rankings at the end. Cool. But I think the first uh, order of business is to hit some shots. All right. Let's get after it. A little skinny. A little skinny. Again, not something I'm accused of being. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was struck good. That was a good ball. I think it's definitely launching higher than I'm used to seeing yeah. the irons earlier today. I think that's five. So, I-230. Yep. Uh, how about the look? It looks small compared yeah. to what we've been wor working yes, with so far. Does. Yeah, no, it looks looks great. Um, this is this is the category I'm living in, right? So uh, this is this is my world. This is what I want a golf club to look like. Um, I like ping shape. I think 230 is very clean. Um, love the top line. Good feel, good sound, good numbers, mm -hmm. good golf club. Yeah, that yeah. seems like it all adds up. Yeah. Um, my math equation would be the same. So here's kind of the baseline that we're setting with ping as the first club, 166 carry, 173 total. Spin just under 6,000, um, 135 smash on average. Uh, the launch is over 20 degrees, landing angle is over 50. So. Plenty of that. You're yep. able to stop the ball and control, and control, control, control. It and yeah. All that good stuff. And then if we bring up dispersion, um, we can see. Obviously, we're very zoomed in at the moment, so it looks yeah. it looks large. But as we um, move forward large, here in the testing, small. I think yeah. we'll, we'll figure it out yeah. that that's pretty darn good. So, yep. um, 
All right, there's our there's our baseline, I-230. Yeah. Let's the, go. The uh, smash factor was maybe a little on the, a little tiny bit on the low side. The low side, that, okay. That run through. Um, we shall we okay. shall see how the others play out. All right. Well, let's go, go to ahead. Cobra. Okay. So I know you like Cobra. Uh, this has been in my bag it's for another discussion because <laughs> it's not in my bag at the moment, but it it it's been there. Funny thing is, it was in your bag when we did what's in the bag. Yeah, it, it was. It was. Uh, you know. But we yeah we I think we mentioned in that video that. It'll, it'll there's volatility change. in yeah. that bag volatility there's is the right yeah. word yeah yeah so all right there we go there's mm -hmm. the smash factor going up a little bit yep and we're at 140 just like that I think you found a groove. That ball is just curving hard. Well, look how straight that golf shot is. Every now and then. So, how about, I mean, I again, you've played this club, so I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. On, on look, feel, sound, there's probably nothing that surprises you here. Yep. Pretty good? Yeah. Very good. Um, Very good. It's it more efficient. Yeah. One three nine. Uh, I'm very excited to see the uh, dispersion when we get there. These are these are my numbers. This is this is exactly what I. Yeah. This is exactly what I want out of this iron. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing else you can add. You're not even adding anything. Nope. You don't need to. Nope. All good. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. that looks good. Yeah. That's good to me. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Yep. From Color King Tour. One degree stronger than I-230 might explain a little bit of the distance yes. difference, but um, I also might have made you a also couple probably hit it a little better. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, next one. Another Good. one that's been very well liked among uh, fitters. Yep. ZX7 Mark II. Yep. How about the difference? Any difference in appearance on that one compared to the first two? Um, not much. Not yep. much. I mean, this is a this is a good look. Um, I like the I like the crotch on this club. Yep. Um, it's a little. I think that the top line's maybe a little bit thicker this year than it was okay. in, in the previous gen. Interesting. Um, which is is a little surprising, but um, yeah. It may not be measurement wise. If any, maybe, maybe it maybe yeah. it is, but yeah. maybe it just appears that way. Could too. be. Could be. Either way, though, it's something worth noting. Yeah. Yeah. These tricks on irons have always kind of been a low spin weapon. Yeah, they have. Except when caught a little thin. Well, I suppose, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Okay. Um, dispersion numbers quickly, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. A um, little less spin, which kind of has been a little bit of a hallmark of the yeah, a little less the, than the Cobra uh, for sure. The sevens, yeah. Um, but I mean, it's kind of falling in between the two so far. Fine, right? We're right at one seventy. Yeah, and... it's kind of falling in between the two so far. Yeah, yeah. In between the. It's... I two thirty in the King Tour. Yeah, it's a pretty good dispersion too. Yeah. So I I got I got no complaints. All right, it's good. P seven seventy. Okay, very nice. Also a very popular model from TaylorMade. I imagine this might be the fastest ball speed today, but we'll see. The Cobra one's pretty good. Yep. But we'll see. Two really good shots to start us off. Thank you. Little hanger, okay. Oh yeah. 
Hit that one good. That was dead center face, I think. Okay. All right. That was a good set. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Numbers. Dispersion. Oh, okay. How about the feel of that one? Because that is technically, it's, it's built with the tech of the P790. Yep. Just in that smaller package. So it probably feels a little bit different than these. I mean, are you getting any of that or not really? Not terribly different. I mean, it's it still feels good and responsive. Like, you know where you catch it on the face. Yeah. Um, feels fantastic. I mean, mm -hmm. it is the 790 feels great. Uh, feels great. 770 feels, okay. feels great. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, um, it's, uh, again, it's kind of in between the Cobra and the IP30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Falls in there a little bit um, in terms of the total distance, in terms of the spin. Um, it's kind of falling in there. That so. half mile an hour of, of club speed was pretty much the only thing separating it from the King Tour. Yeah, I suppose. So, I mean, efficiency was the same. Yep. Spin was, what? Marginally 100, different. 101 RPMs is, more. Actually, something to note is how consistent the spin was. Um, yeah, no, so 74 RPM difference. 74 on that, yeah. <laughs> that's, looking that's at pretty these good. Number, 56, 12, 57, yeah. 48, 56, 59, 55, 31, 55, 75. Nice. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's great. Right? Tough we, to beat that. For, we want that. We want that consistency. That's uh, that's way up there on the consistency right. chart. So Mizuno Pro two two, two two three. I feel like this one had a shorter blade length when I looked at it when I was first hitting it. I mean, do you it, see that or? Yeah, it's it's a little bit on the small side. Yeah, I think it looks great. Actually, as I've had a hard time looking at Mizuno's through, yeah. through the years and. This one is as close to what you I like wanna, to see? what I want to see as I've ever okay. seen from Mizuno. So, I look down at this one and it 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 elicits a smile. Okay. Yeah. Seen a lot of numbers like that in this test. Yep. Carry about one seventy. Which is. Kind of the number I base myself on for swinging a seven iron. So, with all of them being about about the same, long, yeah, you know, within a yard, uh, degree or so, uh, should be about what we what we would see. Slightly toey. Interesting. Yeah, just a little toey. It's like that toe is increasing the spin. Yeah. Mm. Smooth. Smooth. Okay. So, Mizuno Pro 223. Talk about um, look and feel on that one. It's great. Yeah. Feels fantastic. It's Mizuno iron after all. It, yeah, iron. yeah, absolutely. Uh, from a look standpoint, I think it's the best looking of, of the Mizunos that we've, we've done stuff with. Yep. Um, we got one more to come here eventually. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but yeah, from a look standpoint, we got some chrome. Again, don't have a problem with chrome. Yeah. Um, some people will have a problem with chrome. It is a little more glarish. Sure. Uh, potentially, if you live in a place where there's actually sunshine. Doesn't happen here in the winter. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I've heard tell that during the summer, it does get nice. It does. Um, Sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's... It's right in the middle of that category, right? None of them look bad. They all they all have have their little individual characteristics, but they're all good looking right. golf clubs. They all feel great. They all produce good numbers. Like spin rates are decidedly higher than what we've seen with the yes. with the previous uh, categories. And yes, uh, so control, with that, control, control. Right, yeah. right, and that's I mean the dispersion map also says yeah, that yeah, control, control, control thing. Yep. Um, with that, uh, looking at the numbers, if I expand and see the whole chart here, is there mm -hmm. anything that jumps out at you? I mean, and it's I mean, again, we're talking about clubs that are pretty similar in, in their construction and their performance, but um, anything really jump out at you here? No, not really. Um, I did a little bit better with the 770 and the King Tour. Uh, I'm not surprised I did a little better with the King Tour considering I've been playing with it mm -hmm. most of the year so far. Um, so the familiarity yeah. side of things is, is good. Um, you know, we look at the landing angles, they're all over 50 degrees 
Okay, that's just they're another, all the same almost. Like yeah, that. there's another great measure of control. Uh, trajectories all very similar within within three feet of each other. Um, that's pretty good. You know, height, spin, landing angle, all three of those things. That's that's. These clubs start to make things easier for me, right? right. Because I'm not going to have to worry as much about uh, about those dynamics. They're going to kind of be produced naturally anyway. Yeah. So. And then also the your slight draw was very visible with the curve on average for every club here. That's pretty mm. cool too. Yeah. So yeah. that these numbers are all very similar. So let's not. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm saying not focus on the numbers, but. The dispersion might tell more of a story, but even still, the dispersions are all pretty similar themselves. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, really, this one miss hit kind of stands out. We could probably take that out for the I two thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then just to and tell what the story happens a bit. to the overalls First swing of the day. if we take that one out. Let's happens see. to what? Let's see what happens to the overalls. Yeah. So if we if we take that one out, what where, where does ping end up being? So so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, nothing changes drastically. Per no, se, but. no, it goes a little higher. I caught yeah. the, that one thin. So we now have the the highest of the group and the highest landing angle. And the um, launch is tied for the highest too. So yeah, yeah. You get a little bit more height, which I think was pretty customary with paying over. Yeah, no, that's that. I mean, it's absolutely, been, absolutely. Granted, was, this is we are fractionally different here in this yeah. test, but. Um, all right. So I think with that said, we've talked about numbers briefly. Like we can kind of do jump into the. Uh, some rankings a little yeah. bit. Yeah, let's, let's rank these it. things. Okay. All right, Mr. Kraft, testing complete there. Five players cavity irons, um, and we got to do what we got to do here. We got to yep. talk about the look of Kay. these irons. So you just hit all five. Yep. Um, they're all obviously slimmer and more compact than game improvement or player assistance irons. Yep. So in terms of the look, give me a, a top three ranking Kay. of these five. Um, I'm going to go Cobra as my top. Mm -hmm. Just it's exactly what I want to look at from a from an iron perspective. Um, Strixon. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, I'm going to go I-230. Uh, I think those those were the three that I, I really liked looking at the best. Mm -hmm. um, I did mention during that the Mizuno's 223 is closer to what I what I want to see, but I think the ping beats it out. Yeah, I yeah. think, I mean, the I think it just speaks to the Strixon too and how really well received that has been yeah, among all yeah, fitters. Yep. Uh, the previous generation is ZX7 and ZX7 for sure, but also this new series has been yeah. really, really good. So yep. um, great stuff there. None of that is yeah. super surprising. Uh, I know you've talked glowingly over other videos and even just to me off camera about how much you like these King Tour irons. Yeah. So yeah. Um, now, how about feel sound? So okay. we hit, you, you, you hit all five. Yep. Um, we made some comments in there about it, but um, thoughts on the feel and sound? Cobra wins out. Just blew that category yeah. away. Look, feel, sound. For me, that's that. I, I love everything, absolutely everything about it. Um, second best, the P770. Yeah. I just, I love the feel of it. Yeah. Just, it just great responsiveness. It's pretty muted. Uh, just, I absolutely love the feel of it. And then I'm gonna go ping again on the i230. Okay. Um, so a little change there, you know, in terms of. Uh, you know, swapping out the ZX7 for the for the 770. Right. But yeah, well, I think it's worth noting that the P770, like I mentioned during the video when you're hitting, but also it is built like the P790. It is. It, it is yep. built with those materials. So yep. to have it then feel this good and yep. sound this good is not an easy task that Tilly has accomplished yeah. with that. So yeah, absolutely. Kudos to them for that. Yep. So uh, and then lastly, we're we're gonna sk skip innovation because you yeah. get the irons like this. It's not so much about the technology, so to speak, as it Correct. is the look and the feel, and then the yep. kind of because of the shape that it's constructed with, that drives the performance of it. Lofts so, and, and yeah. all that, yeah, yeah, I that mean, matters just a little bit more in this yeah. versus the innovation. So, performance now, yeah, in the last category we're gonna evaluate here. We uh, they all did exactly what I wanted them to do. Yeah, like the the numbers were very tight yeah, I mean, across really, the board, yeah. right? I'm I want this is the this is the world I live in. I want about 170 yards of carry. Mm -hmm. um, so Cobra, and then I would say, you know, I mean, we, you, you look at it and yeah. it's, it's so close. I would go 770 mm -hmm. and... Um, yeah, 770 with that spin probably, that's, that spin consistency anyway was pretty darn Yeah, good. yeah. Um, just, I think that you're right because the dispersion on the Cobra is probably the smallest up there. Yeah. But, 
And then probably the, the Strixon. The Strixon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I want. I mean, here you're nitpicking quite a bit. With yeah, it's, it, numbers, it's so. tough. It's tough. I mean, to me, these two separated themselves a little bit from, from these sure. three. But yeah, yeah. I would, you know, if you're, if you're going to force me to do three, I'm going yeah, yeah. to take the Strixon. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. So, but. but they're all, I mean, golly, they're all such great golf clubs. And what, what I find appealing in a, in a look or a feel, um, you know, somebody else can be right. wildly, vastly different. And, yeah. you know, just because I like it doesn't mean somebody a, else is going to. And, and that's an important caveat yeah. that we got to add is these are your yeah. rankings. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, the next person that hits all of these might have yeah. a completely flipped ranking on the, 100%. The, the look, not only the look and the feel, but also the performance just yeah. by their swing. So, I mean, um, Zuno Pro's uh, two, two, three's been great. The yep. I two thirty's been great. Yep. Uh, the Strixons. Great. They're awesome. They're all great. Yep. It's all yeah. great irons. Yeah. So I think, you know, this is Kevin's take on it, yep. on the player's cavity category in 2023. There are, of course, a few other models out there that um, are able to be considered yeah. as well. But yep. um, ultimately, you got to go get fit. You got to get all this information for your game and your swing. Yep. Um, all of this Jackman data. Also, you get to hit the clubs yourself and feel them uh, for yourself. And then our fitter will help you make a decision. So uh, schedule that fitting, get with someone like Kevin, I will get your game dialed in and play better golf, shoot lower scores and all that yep. thing that, you know, that makes it more fun sometimes. So yeah, well, let's, let's hope so. <laughs> Golly, let's Kevin, hope thank so. you for joining. Really Absolutely. good stuff. Absolutely, absolutely, you bet.